Rental property inspections serve two important functions when it comes to protecting your Phoenix investment property. First, it allows you to keep your property well maintained. While you're inspecting, you can look for any deferred maintenance or necessary repairs that your resident may not have reported. Second, inspections allow you to ensure that the tenant is taking good care of the property. You can make sure that the lease is being followed and your inspection expectations are being met. Let's take a look at six specific things you don't want to forget when you're conducting a routine inspection of your Phoenix rental property. Rob, what is pool safety and why is it important? A lot of rental homes have pools. Um, they're great because pools are attractive and tenants love uh, when they're looking for a home. Uh, comes with a lot of risks. Um, inspections is a good opportunity to uh, mitigate that risk. Inspect that all uh, safety features of pools are in place. This should be done prior to occupancy uh, during any inspection. Pool fences should be up if there's no pool fences. Uh, Self-closing on security doors, uh, raised locks, uh, securing windows, gates. Um, you want to make sure all those enclosures are free from hazards. Any areas, uh, outdoor spaces that contain pools, um, you don't want to allow any access to people to get in. Should landlords inspect their AC filters? Yes, uh, at least once a month. Um, summers are hot, it gets really hot in Arizona. Uh, always get the service uh, system inspected once a year, um, helps. Uh, lease agreements uh, and the tenants change the Tenants are to change filters every month. Uh, this will prolong the life of your unit and can send reminders to your tenants or even uh, have the filters delivered on the date that uh, they need to be changed. We have found that inexpensive filters are the best filters to have in your units unless you have allergies. Uh, the thicker um, HEPA filters uh, restrict airflow, um, makes your air conditioner work harder and can sometimes overheat uh, your air conditioner. Uh, so you can start with the lowest grade filter, uh, see how you are with your allergies to slowly move up to the next one before you cause damage to your air conditioner. What do you look for with smoke detectors? Landlord needs to check uh, batteries of all smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, replace any old units and install new batteries as needed. Uh, these should be in proper locations, ideally bedrooms and hallways. Uh, you don't want to see any signs of tampering or evidence that uh, your tenants may have disabled them. Rob, should you always check under sinks? Yes, pay attention even to minor leaks. Um, look for dripping faucets, water gathering under sinks. Um, discolored uh, walls can uh, provide a sign of a leak. However, in most circumstances, the evidence would be inside the cabinets. Tile allows the water to pool. Uh, vinyl, you would see the discoloration or curling at the cabinets. Uh, wood floors would warp. Um, so if you see any kind of leak or smell any kind of leak, report it to your property manager. Not every leak or drip is going to indicate a huge plumbing expense. Possible causes for leaks under sinks could be as simple as a valve needing to be tightened or a seal becoming old. Uh, this is normal wear and tear. Uh, it's often overlooked by uh, tenants. Immediately, uh, immediate attention will prevent greater damage. Landlords are often concerned about the cleanliness of their rental property. What should you look for during an inspection? You'll need to respect that everyone has different standards of cleanliness. Uh, you can't expect tenants to be as detailed as you might be. Uh, however, you can expect uh, your tenants to prevent pests and uh, de deterioration. Uh, during your inspection, take a general look at the condition of home. Make sure your residents are taking good care of it. Have you ever found that residents aren't abiding by their, by their lease agreement? It has happened, yes. Inspections that take place during residency is a good opportunity to check if your tenants are upholding their end of the lease. For example, if you have a strict no pet policy, um, we would look for dogs, uh, cats obviously, pet bowls, the cat litter boxes, uh, have a conversation with your tenants about what may be happening, maybe make sure uh, there isn't any evidence of smoke in a smoke-free property. Uh, make extra notes of any residents who appear to be living at the property but aren't on the lease agreement. Routine inspections protect the value and condition of your investment property. If you need help with them, we're here. For more information, you can find additional blogs about how a Phoenix property management company can protect your rental property. Visit our website at leaseaz.com or call our team at Service Star Realty.
Thanks.